Hi everyone, this is Ian again, and this is part two of Benefits of Farm Trees. Many regions of Australia and the world are susceptible to rising saline water tables. This rising salt can devastate productivity both locally and across a region. Farm trees can greatly reduce the chances of rising saline water tables, or at the very least, slowing their rate of spread. The reason that farm trees can prevent rising saline water table is because their deep roots pump water from the water table and into the air before it can bring salt to the surface of the soil. This water usage in most cases won't compete with crops as trees use water that would otherwise be inaccessible to annual crops. The best areas to plant trees to prevent rising salinity will depend on your local geography. However, in general, trees planted on hills will reduce the amount of water entering the water table while those planted in lower areas will locally reduce the height of the water table. Farm vegetation can be a valuable asset when livestock food sources are low. Hedgerows and shelter belts of palatable species, such as acacia and salt bushes, can be grazed or pruned to provide accessible food sources. Areas of non-crop vegetation, such as remnant areas, can also be crash grazed during poor years. Many species of trees that can be used as effective shelter belts can also be managed for timber. Tree species that will regrow from epicormic shoots, such as fast-growing eucalyptus species, can be cut off towards the base and allowed to regrow in a process known as coppicing. Rows of trees managed in this way make excellent sources of firewood for use or sale. Other trees, such as red gum and ironbark, if managed, can produce high-value saw logs. Saw logs will usually produce higher returns than any other crop over the same time period. Farms that have been planted and landscaped with trees are likely to have higher aesthetic appeal. In addition to this just being enjoyable, this can also have a measurable impact on land value, resulting in higher sale prices of the property. Trees can help protect your property from extreme weather events. However, the following is usually based on hypothetical studies and should not be relied upon for your own safety. So always have a backup plan and seek professional advice before undertaking the following. Hypothetically, farm trees can be used to reduce the impact of fire. Rows of resistant shrubs, such as salt bush, can be used to reduce ember attacks during bushfires, while blocks of fire-resistant trees, such as ironbark, can slow fires, reducing them down to grass fires. Rows of trees can also reduce wind speed, thereby slowing some types of fire, offering a level of protection for structures downwind. Again, I will stress, however, that this is highly dependent on weather conditions and should not be solely relied upon. Seek advice from your local fire organisation. Fast-moving floodwaters can be damaging as they cause heavy riverbank erosion and damage any structures in their path. Farm trees are able to slow this water down, reducing the damage they are able to cause. The trade-off with this, however, is that a large number of trees will cause water to build up higher upstream, causing floodwaters to become slower moving, but higher. If planting riverside vegetation, contact your local catchment authority for advice. Water in ponds and dams that are shaded by trees is likely to be lower in temperature. This has two benefits. Firstly, evaporation is reduced, and secondly, has a reduced likelihood of algal blooms due to the lower temperatures. Pondside vegetation can also filter out sediment entering ponds and stabilise banks. All of this results in high quality water for livestock and irrigation. For production with strong odours such as piggeries, planting of shelter belts directly downwind helps deflect the odour producing gases into the atmosphere and away from downwind structures. Vegetation also absorbs ammonia and other odorous gases while filtering out dust particles. Thank you for listening, and as always, if you wish to support the series, make sure you like this video and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below or shoot me an email at profitable.habitat at gmail.com.